hello 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 everyone how are you hi nikki nikki can you hear me can you see me is everything okay always different for me when <laughs> i don't have anybody with me to tell me hello oh no here we go again hello facebook user <laughs> I am trying to find you. Trying to find a live on um, in the group because I'm seeing a lot of Facebook users again. So I was trying to see if I could bring it up on the iPad, but I don't even see it in the group yet. That's weird. Okay. How is everyone doing today? while I look for these. Hello, I can, hi Linda. Yeah, I don't, um, let me put in the link. I don't know why I don't see it in the group. Um, if you can go to, oops. Um, an authorized stream yard because I see um, a bunch, I see a few Facebook users. Hi, Jess. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I have a teapot in it. Sorry, it's white, so it's a lot of bounce back. Hi, my Moika. Hi, Louise. Hi, Lou. So I actually got this at my, um, like, my local thrift shop, it's, I think it's called Twice Upon a Time or something like that. And anyways, um, it had a bunch of, you know, like the grapevines and flowers. <laughs> so I put some uh, Pentart, the bonding primer. Um, and then I just used some uh, of the white, Pentart white acrylic primer. Um, so that way, I can have a clear base, but what I thought would be really fun to do um, is like kind of like the Mad Hatter tea set or, you know, something like that. That's why I have the lines here because I picked up a few of them, you know, like, you know what I mean? Wouldn't that be kind of cool to do like a whole little tea set? Because I have this, these two, whoa, let's not break anything. And look at this one. I'm almost, I kind of feel, I don't know, because it has so much really, you know, so many of the pretty details and etchings already. But I just thought it would be really cool to do something like a Mad Hatter um, plate and tea set. So anyways, so you might, not you might, you'll probably see, um, you know, these pieces as I go along. But so... I decided to save you and, <laughs> and mark off the lines already. Did some pencil markings up here. Um, but I think what I will do today, this is just here so it doesn't, you know, roll away from me. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is use some of the paint contour um, paints. The paint contour paints, you know, uh, mostly used for... Um, you know, furniture, and they they have a little bit of the self-leveling. So in order for me not to get a whole bunch of brush marks, I'm thinking, and plus I love these colors anyway. So this one is by the CC Restyled line, um, Plums and Roses, and this one is Notorious BLU. So, sorry. And then... I don't know, we'll mix like a gray maybe. This is the Gustav and Baltic Black. But anyways, I thought we'd just get a little, you know, wild and crazy. It doesn't have to be super clean. I have stencils here, rub-ons. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So let me get a soft brush and see. What color? Blue, purple. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Maybe purple blue. 
I know the names are so funny, right? She's she's hilarious. Notorious B L U, if you guys know, you know, B I G, and then plums and roses. But okay, with the paint couture paints, you really do want to make sure. I was shaking these before um, I got on camera, but um, you always want to make sure you put like your little you know popsicle stick or something in there to stir these guys this up because it's. They always usually have like a little film at the top. Purple? Is that Jess? Blue? Moika? <laughs> blue? Okay. <laughs> I have blue on my <laughs> on my brush. So, yeah, I did the lines last night because I thought, well, first of all, I already had to take the lines off, the, the blue tape off once. Um, and I thought, oh, boy. Better do this now and save everybody from me watching me do it on camera. So I am going to, I'm thinking I'm going to leave the little round lip and thought I would do that in like maybe a gold or even I have this trim that uh, my friend Nikki sent me. He's fun that I might even do around there. So I'm not too worried about, um, that little lip up there. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, we're gonna need to do a couple layers. So I'm thinking of doing the bigger, this notorious BLU color, and then um, once that dries, we'll do the stripes probably black. Can you Ryan, remind us of the names of the paints? Yes. So. I would turn it this way, but it might drip off. So this is Paint Couture Notorious BLU. So that's the one I'm using right now. And then if I use any of the other ones, I'll let you know. But it's the CC Restyled line. So how is everyone's weekend going? My is hot as usual i'm always i think we're all talking about how hot it is where we no matter where you at you are at excuse me um so today it says it's going to be 104 which is what is that about 40 degrees in celsius so yeah it's going to be a good nice and toasty today but it's been like that all week So, and this color, it's actually a turquoise. It's coming up blue on my screen, but it's like, a, it's got more of a greener tone in there. And I don't know if it's coming up because it's reflecting off of this, but yeah, you're not getting the true color. It's a, it's a green, green blue. Again, I'm not real worried about the handle because I think I'm going to do probably the handle in purple. Like I said, I want to do, I was thinking like the, the Alice theme, something really crazy, and which if you know, that's not really my, my style. <laughs> but sometimes we got to do different things, don't we? So did you all get to watch Shamila uh, earlier today? Did you catch her live? I have to watch the replay because I think it was kind of early for me. Those of you who don't know, it's I'm on the West Coast. Um, so I'm in California. Again, I'm not worried about that lip because I'm probably, like I said, I'm going to do, thinking of doing it gold up there. Or maybe even purple. We'll see. What do you guys think? Because I'll probably do the handle and the spout purple. Very excited. Just bought some molds. Ooh. Who... 
what will you be making? Um, I, I'm, I bought a bunch of like the, you know, the tea, the kettle, the little sugar and the creamer. So I think I'm going to do like a whole little tea set and do the Mad Hatter, you know, Alice in Wonderland tea set type thing. So crazy colors, checks, stripes, something like that. What molds did you buy? I'm sorry, it, you're coming up as Facebook user, so I'm sorry, but what mold did you get? Hi, Joan. Is it the new molds, new Prima molds? What? I want to know. I love molds. Oh, and I did pull some of Stamperia's molds out Um from the Alice line. So I, I maybe I'll do like the cards or something from there and stick them on the side. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. No, the teapot is not glazed. It has, I put bonding primer down first, Pentart bonding primer, and then, um, I just put Pentart's acrylic white primer. I see that the tape is now down, so. Yeah, and it covered really well, considering if you guys would have seen it, it had like purple grapes, um, <laughs> yellow dandelions, um, green leaves and i even think if i remember correctly there was like orange on here too it, it was it was quite colorful i mean i'm gonna make it quite colorful as well but yeah just not just like not that type of colorful so is anybody crafting today doing anything Uh, heart projects. I'm blaming Anthony. Okay. <laughs> Saw him making a lovely heart project. So I'm going to try and do that. Oh, okay. I like it. There we go. So we got our first layer down. Was his project on a canvas or I didn't. Was that from a live that he did? I know he did a live somewhere. I've seen it. There we go. We got that first layer down. I'm just going to run around it with, I'm stitching a stamp of mine. Ooh, okay. Michael, you think gold around the rim? I was thinking that too, right? Like just do gold little accents and then maybe make the top of this gold. And then I'm thinking like do the checks on here. That's why I kind of penciled off that to save you all from me trying to get those lines straight as well. <laughs> Okay, now we'll go around. Yeah, I think so too. I'll do the probably do the gold. Yeah, these are dry. This is dry. So now we'll go in and and I did um, put the primer and the bonding primer down yesterday because uh, you, I'm sure you all know, but if you're gonna put tape down like this, you want to make sure you're. You're really dry. Everything is dry because if you pull the tape up, you're likely to pull the primer up with it unless it's dry. So I did do it yesterday. Let it sit outside for about two seconds and it was dry. <laughs> but yeah, see this, like I said, this 
paint couture has a little bit of that self-leveling um, component in there. So it's really just making it easy. Oh, probably need to get a smaller brush to get, since this is the second layer, to get up and around the top there. Now, Lou, what do you mean when you say you're stitching a stamp? I've seen you do some pretty amazing things. And then that. You know what you also can do too if you really want to make sure that you're getting, you know, don't get anything on the handle or get anything on the rim. Um, I have masking fluid that I could have put down. I actually have it out. Just didn't even think about it. I just went right in with the paint. But um, it's this. And you could put it down and then it, it's just like rubber. It'll come right off. I have a stamp range called Mindful Move. Okay, I'll do Ooh. Oh, Linda, that sounds like it's, oh, I can't wait to see that. So Linda said, I know some of you can't see it, so I'll put it, she's doing a, oops, sorry. That sounds like it's going to be amazing. So, I really like this color. So, where is everyone watching from today, tonight? <laughs> no, it's evening time for some. It's almost, what, it's 11.18, so it's still morning for me, technically. I always think it's neat to find out where everybody's watching from, how far some places are. There we go. Okay. around this. There we go. Oh, that's the spot down there anyway, didn't I? There we go. Okay. You over there. Bolton, which is northwest of England. Oh, okay. Scotland. Wow. Okay, so if you can see this, I kind of I lined it off. I think I'll do some black checks with the good evening. National Park in West Sussex, England. Ooh. Hi, Ellen. Manchester. Okay, what do we want to do for this? I want to... That's going to be too big for right there. So let's get a smaller one for the tops.
Oh, it couldn't even go tinier than this. No. Did you see that? Nothing like having shaky hands when you're trying to do lines. Hold on a minute. I'm going to go smaller. Smaller! And I know better anyways. I need to stabilize my hand before I do something like that. Trying to do it up in the air doesn't work. Liverpool area. Ciao, somebody. Again, if you could possibly go into um, the StreamYard www.streamyard.com and backslash, backslash uh, Facebook to give it access so I can see who you are. Unfortunately, it just says Facebook user. I will go in and try to put the link in just a minute. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Sorry. I'll get out of this little area in just a minute. <laughs> so I'm thinking I will do... I want it to be super bold. So I have the Pintart Liquid Metal. And that I think will be really good for the gold up at the top here. Surprising, this isn't as black. I could have probably actually used like Finn's, Finn's black. Because it looks like I'm going to have to do a second layer of this as well. So last night I taped, I started to tape this off and it was all wonky. The, some of the sections were thinner than, <laughs> oh my goodness, thank goodness I didn't do this on the live. Guys, well, I mean, it might've been entertaining for you all. Had a good chuckle. Are you guys waiting to see if I color in the wrong block? Because I'm waiting to see if I'm going to do it. in it but this is the first time I've actually used this black so I'm surprised by it not being as opaque as I thought it would be but that's okay hopefully not boring you all by just painting today. St 
<laughs> um, yes, I'm actually, I'm not going to paint inside of the teapot. Um, so, or, you know, down into the spout or anything. Um, so, and there's actually a, a product that I can put over all of this when I'm done so that I can put it in like a dishwasher or wash it and it will protect, um, protect the paint. It's just called wash it. So yeah, but no, I'm not going to be painting inside of putting any of the paint inside where anything would be, but I really don't think I would use it. It would probably be something that I just sat out I'm trying, Nikki. You know, usually I don't have a shaky hand, but of course, when I have to do something like this, it's going to shake. But yeah, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It is, oh, I don't hit the camera. Where is it at? It's called Wash It. I have it here somewhere. Here it is. It's this. So I can actually put it all over the teapot and any of the, like if I put a, transfer on there or anything and it'll protect it and actually i could put it in the dishwasher and yes i have used it and have tested it before and i know it it actually works really well and i'm sure there's other products out there that you can find that will do the same thing it's just i that's just what i have Okay. Let's just <laughs> darken these up a little bit. And then we'll pull off the tape. and see if anything, hopefully I got down all of the, the lines and didn't bleed underneath the painter's tape at all. I went over them with the bone folder to try to make sure everything was down, but I don't know. move a little faster now so that way get through this so I know my son actually started back to school this is actually last week was his first full week but he started back the week before that I don't know if summer is over for any of you who have kids But there we go. I'll put that aside and put these in there. All right. Excuse me for just a second. I know I'm ready. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see here if we can make sure it's dry first. I'm thinking of doing the, like I said, inside of some of it. Some of it's underneath. But anyways, I'm going to do, what do you think? I think black. It's not too bad, but is there black on there? Jeez, Terry. Really? I'll clean that up in a minute. Wow, it kind of, this tape didn't protect too much, did it? Got a lot of bleeding. I'm really surprised because I really went down with it on the bone folder, so. Let's see. Because I can't even. Hi, Dee Dee. Oh, wow. No worries. Thank you for joining. Oh, yours, Joan. Okay. Okay. So, we got a lot of bleeding. Thankfully, I'm not doing the black until now, but that's a little, a little, that's a little much. <laughs> Almost not even worth taping it off of, is it? Okay, so I'm thinking, though, I want to do the purple first and then the gold, because the black, you know, black is scary enough, so, but... So that's going to be in there like this way, this way. So we'll do gold, gold. Do you guys think these should be purple? I'm thinking because this will be black. Hmm. <laughs> decisions, decisions. And I'm thinking I'm not going to mess around with that black. I have a tip when taping, add a little gel medium over the... Yeah, yes. Just what purple? You're right, Lou. I should have done that. Purple in here or purple over here first? Purple out here first? And then I was thinking of like doing like... Oh, yeah. I've got... I've got some. <laughs> yeah, I should have, Lou. That's actually a really good tip. And I know that. I know better. But of course. And then you know what? Oh, because of the way this is, I'm thinking I'll do like the gold trims around the ends too. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. At least the handle for sure. You, you got it, baby. Mm-hmm. Yes. See? I like it. Now, when would I ever set this out? I don't know. But I just started looking at things and I thought, what can I do with these? The teapot and all of the little things that I picked up. Huh, we can do something really. Crazy with them. Have some fun. Actually, that purple covered really well. 
make Alice the core. Yes. Terry, you wouldn't, wouldn't you'd send it. <laughs> yeah, I could send it to you. If you want it, Nikki. Did you see all the pieces? You do like Alice, though, don't you? You probably would put it out more than I would appreciate it. Give it the love and attention it needs. <laughs> yeah, this purple is... I really like it. Yeah, this purple is great. Um, and it's the CC Restyled Paint Couture Plums and Roses. It is amazing. I love it. actually tempted to do these I gotta fix that don't let me forget <laughs> I'm actually tempted to do the stripes purple too but I'll do them black There we go. Woo I like it. I like it. I'm just going over some places. Because like I said, this, this one doesn't need a second coat all the way around. I mean, you know, I could. I'll probably still do it later, but... Anyhow, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the spout because I really like this purple. It's pretty amazing. Shoot, I might, hmm, I might do this now purple. I don't know. We'll see what you guys think. Do the top ball in purple. I really like this color. I want to make sure and just I'm going to touch the top. I don't want it to go down the, the actual spout. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. How are we doing on time? Are we doing okay? Not too bad.
I just need to figure out how to get a lot of bubble wrap and <laughs> make sure nothing breaks, Nikki. Nikki will be on next Saturday. Right, Nikki? Next Saturday here. So you guys will see. I got a sneak peek. And it's going to be amazing. You guys are going to be in for a treat. some blue because that doesn't go down quite that much. Okay, I could do that later when I fix that spot. <laughs> Might be a little spot, but it's really driving me nuts. See that little black speck. Okay. Your nose. Let's see here. What am I trying to get? Let's see a little bit here. Okay. Look at that. Guys, think. Okay. All right. I'll go in with the blue after a bit because I'm sure I'll need it. I'm going to go ahead and use, um, I don't know if I should try a thin, the, this black. Because, actually, wait a minute. Do you guys think I should do this purple? I'm thinking purple. And then the gold on this. <laughs> Let me get it out. Yes, the paint does cover really well. It does good job. Okay, let's do what? Oh, man. Hold on. Let me get that off. Move fast and it'll come off. Okay, let's do. Then I think it'll tie in, you know, it'll have purple up on the top here instead of nothing at all. As far as the purple. Let's try, um, like I said, I'm going to try, let me wipe my hands first before I grab anything that's black on my hands. I have an angled brush that I'm going to see if that will help me with what I'm doing. I can always switch. So 
let's put some of that down. Excuse me, not a little water because it's really thick. And then see how this covers. So that way we can kind of see what's going on. All right, let's see what we got here. because um, I may use some of the masking fluid because if I put the blue tape down on this, it's definitely going to pull up that blue because it's not, it's dry to touch, but it's not dry underneath. So... See how close I can get. And then after the video, I'll go in with the masking fluid and really clean up the lines. Try not to hold my breath. Sorry, I'm not talking. <laughs> I would do the one that's closest to that black dot that's been driving me nuts. Yeah, the um, paint couture paint, Nikki, yeah, it dries fast. <laughs> and now it dries fast, you know what I mean, to touch. But if I were to put any of the, like the masking tape on it, it would pull it right up because it, need, it needs to set for a bit. grabbed a lot on the brush, so shouldn't have done that. I'm thinking about doing like some dots, polka dots on the purple as well. Probably gold polka dots. I can get it going and keep it pretty steady. See, what do you think? 
Yes, on the dots. Yeah, see? I'm just going to do some random. I have a stencil with the like the polka dots. Thought that would be cute to do them in gold. And then just to have fun with it, not always have everything be so serious and perfect. I don't think that I've done anything like this in a long time, so it's been fun. Hopefully, you guys don't mind that I just painted the entire time. Always using rice paper, always using, you know, doing something like that. I just wanted to change it up a little bit. Really? Aw. I'm so glad, Lou. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> if I can get the line going, I can keep it pretty steady, but it gets easier if I can go in one, you know, one stroke, but then I've got to lift my hand. <laughs> But I thought if, like I said, that I knew if I changed over to the Finnevere black that I wouldn't have to do, you know, so many coats. Because this black is, I always say the impostel paints are the paints that are like the, you know, you don't have time to waste. You want to get the paint down and go. Okay, what do we have, two more? That's too much. Is anybody else holding their breath or is it just me? Okay, I can tell that that blue isn't straight. Oh boy. Okay, let's. I'm gonna fix that. Is it? It's not straight, right? No, it's not. There we go. Okay. He's talking about making myself work for it. A line. Holy mackerel. I'm really trying to give myself a challenge. Little specks of paint. <laughs> Almost dropping it. You guys tell that it's throwing me off the, with my left hand. It's hard for me to angle it, so. And feel comfortable. That's why I keep moving it around back and forth a little crazy. So 
I got blue to touch up over there, over here. All right, last line. Come on, work with me. Gosh, darn it. Look, it doesn't want to glide now. It's, oh, you're almost done? Nope, I'm going to give you a hard time. Is it? <laughs> okay, Linda, I'm glad I'm not the only one because I don't know how many times I'm almost passing out over here. I'm like, okay, Terry, you've got to breathe. You, <laughs> you do have to breathe. All right. So I'll grab the blue. Let's take this and put it on the table <laughs> so I don't get any more specs. And there's a couple of things, right? This little guy right here, because the line wasn't straight. Actually, there's a little more blue. And here. There you go. Okay, and then that one. Okay, and of course, see this one. I'm going to need to go over it again later on with the second layer. Okay. Oh, no. Where is it? There you are. Haha, -ha, you thought I forgot about you, did you? <laughs> See, I almost did. <laughs> oh, no, Carol, don't say, don't say that. Because <laughs> I get hiccups all the time. <laughs> And then, is this dry? This goes in this way. See, in the gold, that's going to need a little paint there. Oh, I'm liking it. Oh, sorry, guys. You can't. This way. Key. I like it. So we're at 12 o'clock. I don't know. I can go ahead and let you guys go and finish up and take pictures. Like I said, I'm going to put some, I think I'm going to put, I have some random um, dots. I'm not going to do it a lot, but I have some random dots. And then I'm going to, I don't know, I think I might do a little bit of gold on the, on the blue. And then I'll do the gold, gold here. Yeah, we'll see. But I'll finish it up here in a few. And then I will... Oh. 
can you please do another video live to finish it so we can oh sure i was gonna finish it and then um take pictures of it but if you guys want me to finish it with you i'd be more than happy to do that so yeah absolutely lou just let me know i appreciate you having me back again i'm sorry i didn't do anything like wild and crazy it was just painting checkers and stripes but i really am excited to do all the pieces and have the set done um i think it's gonna be i think it's gonna be fun so okay then i will do that i won't touch it it'll be just like this well, maybe not just like this. I think I, I, I need to do this. I need to do that purple dot and then also straighten up the lines on the bottom. But other than that, I won't touch it. I won't do anything else. And if ever there was a reason to take up tea drinking, this is the pot. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> so I will... Go ahead and get with Lou or Rachel and figure out when they want me back. And when we come back, I'll finish this up. So thank you again for being here. Again, you know, I know it was just painting, but I had, it was relaxing. I did have a good time. And I always have a good time talking with you guys. So um, we can do another next week or a week after um next week you have nikki so i can finish up after nikki's done if you'd like we can do that so yeah anyhow i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend like i said i did see a sneak peek of nikki's project next saturday it is amazing so make sure you um watch her then and then if uh if there's a slot for me i'll come on after nikki and finish this little guy up Everyone, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Thank you for joining me, and have a great day. Bye.